As Halloween approaches, focus turns to candy, of course, chocolate. But lately, it's been more trick than treat for companies like Cadbury, Hershey, and Nestle. Cocoa prices have touched 18-year high, up 30% since just June. Commodity reporter Michael Whitney is here with the story behind Coco. First, got a Halloween costume yet? I do not yet, but my son is nine months old, so it might be his first Halloween, so we're going to see what we're going to dress him up as. So what's going on with Coco? Very well, it's, cute, by it's, the way. It's really a very simple supply squeeze story. We've got an aging tree population in the world's largest producing country, the Ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire. Forty percent of the world's cocoa is grown there, so there's been a problem with the crop there. Most of the analysts here, they're marking down the crops. They're saying there's going to be a deficit, huge deficit, 64,000 metric tons. This is a big deficit of cocoa. The market's responding to this. There's just less cocoa around, and there's a little bit uh, makes it harder for people to get it, prices go up. Talk about the currency story, how a weaker dollar is impacting cocoa. Well, the weaker dollar is always going to impact uh, currencies, always does. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, we're going to see that in coffee as well as cocoa in particular, but it certainly does hit here, especially when you look at the cost of the cocoa in London versus the New York market. So we're seeing these gains, and just because the currency is weak, it means people can buy more cocoa with less dollars. Cocoa in New York is priced in dollars. So talk about companies like Cadbury, Hershey, how are they responding? Well, what we've seen recently from Cadbury's They've made their chocolate bars smaller. Now, this is a very oh. clever way to pass on a price increase. They basically how much give you smaller. Well, they haven't come out exactly yet with how, how much smaller it's going to be, but there's just less cocoa. This is a response to higher cocoa prices. This is how they get more margin into a candy bar. Sure. They just make it smaller. All right, Michael Whitney, thanks for that. Thank you.